conectado en este video, vamos a mirar las diferencias entre saber y conocer. So we're going to look at the difference between saber and conocer in Spanish in the present tense. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I was making another video uh, that actually had this concept in it, and I realized that I hadn't yet made a video on this concept, so I'm doing that now. So um, saber and conocer both mean, technically both mean to know. If you think of it, however, as conocer, meaning to be familiar with, it makes things much easier. Uh, saber is going to be used to talk about things that you know, that somebody knows how to do. Or it's going to be used to talk about knowing facts or information, like saying things, uh, uh, for example, like I know how to swim, uh, you know how to speak Spanish, uh, I know that she's 15 years old, uh, that's saber basically in a nutshell. Conocer, uh, well, also means to know, but you can use it for saying things like uh, I know the person, I know a place, I know an animal. Uh, so it's being familiar with people or places basically. Uh, so yo, yo conozco a Pedro, yo conozco Sevilla. Um, the only thing catchy with this one is that uh, with conocer, uh, if you're when you're familiar with a person, make sure you have that a personal, the personal a there. So when I know Yo conozco a Austin Powers. You have to have that A in there so that, uh, you know, it's just a personal way. It's one of those words, Spanish things. Uh, anyway, just in case you don't know it, the conjugations of these two verbs in the present tense are, oh, before I go on, I have the conjugations of these two verbs, the differences between them, and an activity all on a document that's available to you in the link in the description of my video. So um, you can go to there now if you want to. Anyway, the saber is se, sabes, sabe. Sabemos, sabes, saben. And conocer is conozco, conoces, conoce, conocemos, conocéis, conocen. Uh, you'll notice that these two verbs both have an irregular yo form. Make sure that you take note of that and uh, remember that's very important. And then uh, what I want you to do is just to do a little bit of practice here is I made up a little paragraph. Uh, it's kind of old school, but uh, I just made it. And um, it's about, uh, well, you could read it and see what it's about. And what I want you to do is in each of those blanks that are in the paragraph, conjugate saber o conocer in the present tense and uh, see if you can get it right. Again, this is available in that link in the document that's in the description of my video. So go there now if you want to do this and we'll start giving you my answers uh, right now. Mi amigo Juan conoce a Michael Jordan. Uh, Juan dice que Jordan sabe jugar a baloncesto muy bien. Aunque yo no conozco a Jordan, Yo sé que el equipo Los Toros es excelente. También Juan y yo sabemos que esa noche Los Toros van a jugar en Sacramento. Yo no conozco Sacramento, pero mi amigo sí conoce Sacramento. Juan sabe que Los Toros van a ganar, pero yo no sé. Vamos a invitar a unas chicas muy bonitas. Nosotros no conocemos a estas chicas, pero, uh, o oh, muy bien, pero no nos molesta. So that's pretty much it. Um, pretty much if you're knowing a person or place, Use conocer. If you know a fact, information, how to do something, use saber. If any of those answers in there don't make sense to you, uh, let me know and uh, we'll get back to you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.